Innocent gun, higher ground, barrel aged cask beer. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. What a fucking day I've had. On the way out, I dropped the bike. Fuck knows, I've got a dodgy pair of German para boots and I haven't worn them in ages. And the sole is coming away. And I don't know how it's worked, but I was pedalling the bike backwards and the sole just flipped and lost me footing and jumped off the bike, but the bike went over. And now I've got a leaking fork seal and Life is shit. <laughs> it's not really, I'm exaggerating. There's people far, far worse off than me. They're first world problems. So I thought I'd console myself with a, a bottle of this stuff. This is the Innocent Gun Higher Ground Highland Car Scale. Now this has been barrel aged. Now there's some controversy about this barrel aging process. I will get onto that in a minute. First I'll give you a little bit about the brewery. Uh, Innocent Gun, they're Scottish. Uh, founded by Dougal Gunn Sharp in 2003 and he well they're based up in Perth but there's a bit of controversy about that as well because there's rumours that they were their beer was contract brewed by tenants in Glasgow in the big tenants brewery there um, I don't know what's going on there they've, they've been saying that they're going to build their own brewery up in Edinburgh uh, for a while now that's still not happened so I don't know where this is being brewed quite controversial for a, a craft brewer in my opinion but you know that's what they're saying so it's none of my business I just thought I'd let you know just in case you like the innocent gun beer um, they're quite impressive though whatever they're doing it seems to be impressive they're number two craft beer brewer in sales of off-trade beer which is a pretty good feat you know and that's in Britain that is that's not just Scotland that is in the United Kingdom so that's pretty good they're out selling brew dog and people like that i don't know whether that's still relevant but that's what they've got on their website so i'll have to take their word for it uh, they are number one imported beer in canada now i know canada's got a big scottish connection so that's probably where they've made inroads there but nevertheless it doesn't matter i mean that is an impressive feat and they're in the top top three imported beers in sweden and the US. I find that really hard to believe with all the German stuff, but again, this is what they're saying. So, you know, who am I to judge? I haven't got the stats. They presumably have, so I have to take their word for it. And they've won over 50 awards for their beer. And uh, yeah, they, they seem to be getting it right. But there is some controversy, and I want to cover this because I think it's important to know, especially with this stuff here as well. Uh, they're renowned for their barrel aging, all right? And they do use traditional barrel aging. You know, they get the, the old whiskey barrels and the rum barrels, and they put the beer in there, and supposedly from the wood that's had the whiskey and the rum soaked into it, that flavor imparts into the beer, and you get an interesting flavor. But they've used another, <clears throat> they've used another um, technique, which I think is cheating. And they're calling their beers barrel aged, but what they're doing is they're getting these barrels, they're smashing up the wood from the barrels and they're throwing it into a keg and they're calling that barrel aged. Now, I think that's a bit of a cheat, to be honest. They use similar sort of techniques in barbecuing, you know, with your your fragrant cherry wood, etc., etc. So if you're using, especially for smokers as well, they throw in this fragrant wood that imparts these fruity flavours and you supposedly get in your food and all that. But I don't think that's barrel aging. I think that's flavouring at best, you know? So I think they're stretching the truth there a bit, but that is just my opinion, all right? So I take that how you want it, all right? But anyway, let's stop talking opinions and let's get onto this beer. Right, I think this is a first for me. This is a beer out of a box. 
and I'll just read out that uh, this stuff isn't available anymore. I think this was the last of the dregs on Beers of Europe, so I decided to get it, and I think it was quite cheap, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. But it's got on here, as autumn fades, we, are, we contemplate a long stretch of winter ahead. Not with the fucking weather out there, we ain't. It is fucking roasting. We start to look forward to beers which lift our spirits. I'll tell you something, I need some spirit lifting today, I'll tell you. And takes us to a higher ground. This beer has been aged in single malt whiskey barrels. Right, so they're saying this has actually been matured in barrels. So I'll take them on that. Which have been undisturbed in the highlands of Scotland for 18 years. Wow. Slowly developing the rich complex flavours which have been imparted into the beer. A warm amber ale with sweet hints of molasses and cocoa. Higher ground is, he is a heavy brew with a spirited kick. Everything you need to ease you through the changing seasons. Right, I fucking hate whiskey. I'll make that known now. This is 6.2%. Limited edition. Box is impressive. Highland car scale. Um, yeah. Latitude and longitude. I think that is the, um, the series that they've called this. Uh, there's nothing on there about ingredients and that I think is all I'm going to get. Let's get it open and let's see what's going on. Right, they've got a box. That's going in the bin. Here is the bottle. It's pretty much got what it says on the on the box, 6.2%, 330 mil bottle. Yeah. Let's get it open and let's see what's going on. Right, I tried some of the Innocent Gun stuff before. I ain't gonna lie to you, the barrel aged stuff wasn't bad. The rum and the whiskey aged stuff was nice. Their attempts at IPA and lager were absolutely shit. I really wasn't impressed at all. There's the Innocent Gun. Logo, there you go. Yeah, sorry, Innocent Gun, but I just didn't think your stuff was that interesting. It was just, I don't know. It's just bland. Your IPAs especially, your flavoured IPAs, I just thought, why bother? And they were for sale in um, Lidl's. No, Aldi, sorry, I do lie. Um, wow, look at that on the glass. Let's see if we can get any aromas out of this. Wow. Now that is full of aroma. Definitely, first thing that hits me is vanilla and some banana. Some slight whiskey notes in there as well, but a ton of dark fruit too. Yeah, that vanilla is quite, it's quite nice actually. There's like a smoky wood aroma coming from it too. This really does smell interesting. Let's get the rest of it in them into the glass. Now, I don't know what glass he's supposed to drink Drink it out of, but I'm drinking it out of one of these. It really does smell interesting, and it's reminding me of a, of an old ale, actually, with all them strong fruit flavors, the vanilla, a little bit of banana, uh, the dark dried fruit, as I said, some woodiness, some smoky wood as well. Very interesting. Let's get it down the hatch. Cheers. Cool. Yeah, that is, that is intense. You've got all them fruity flavours that I was talking about. They're there in abundance. There's quite a bit of spirit alcohol, warming going down. Reasonably strong whiskey flavours as well. There's like, a, there's like a rum or whiskey type flavour running through that too. But there's that sweet vanilla that comes from it. It's like a smoky vanilla, if you can imagine that. And I got that from their, from their run of the mill barrel aged stuff too. Very strong, yeah, the molasses is coming through now on the aftertaste too. 
This is very complex. And I have to say, this is not a bad effort. This is what Innocent Gun do well. Barrel aged beer. I have to say, this is not bad. The IPAs and lagers, forget it. You're fucking nowhere with that. But this stuff is really nice. Mmm. Yeah, this is really nice. I'd class that as a, I know they've called it a barrel aged beer, which it is, but it's reminded me a lot of a barley wine. Quite sweet. <coughs> the ABV isn't really there, but it's quite sweet. There is that molasses flavor, dark dried fruit, as I said, and the vanilla, the smoky vanilla, which I'm assuming is coming from the barrel age process in that. No real malty aftertaste on that at all. This is all about the, the dark fruit and that, that whiskey type flavor or that spirit flavor. Could be rum, could be whiskey. They said it's whiskey, so it obviously is, but there is a, is a, there was a nice aroma and flavour to this. Yeah, that's that, that smokiness is getting me. All in all, that is really nice, I have to say. Now, I was harsh, well, I wouldn't say I was harsh. I think Innocent Gun dropped the ball with their other stuff, but their barrel age stuff. Yeah, really good. I'm impressed with that. That is nice. So what's the verdict on this? Yeah, this is not bad. This is what Innocent Gun do best. The barrel aging stuff. I don't think you're going to go wrong with that. I've, I know I've slagged off Innocent Gun in the past about the lager, which I thought was very, very average indeed. The IPAs as well, the supermarket IPAs that they did, the flavoured ones, I thought were just absolute rubbish. But this stuff is really nice. I have to say, you know, this has impressed me. But there's a caveat with this. I bought this um, off season. So basically this was brewed, I imagine, for the winter. And now I think Beers of Europe, six months later, they've still got some of this and they've sold it off quite cheap i think it was under three pound a bottle and i decided to get some and i have to say it is quite nice if i'd paid more than three pound for this i think i'd have been a bit miffed i don't think it's worth more than three pound when you consider the other innocent gun stuff as well but it is nice i have to say very complex indeed there's a ton of flavor a nice sweetness a smokiness to it, a woody vanilla type smoke, smokiness to it. And all in all, that has really lifted my spirits. I do like that. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. I like that so much. You know, say what you like about Innocent Gun, but this beer is not bad at all. Full of flavour, goes down nicely, and yeah, very nice. It's what they do best. And remember, beer is working class champagne.